All rise. This is Deeper Than Money. Talk to me. I want viewers watching my show to believe in themselves. Judge Hatchett is compelling. If he is not going to honor you, he needs to be gone. Compassionate. I don't want you to give up on your dreams. I don't. And I want to figure out how we get this straight. She's powerful. If I were in this situation, I would have put you out too. And she's on the bench. I feel like I'm being judged here. <laughs> That's what I do. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. Renee George is suing Dalton Rapp in the amount of $1,300. Ms. George claims her ex-boyfriend showed up late to her housewarming party and says heirloom ornaments were broken when he knocked over the Christmas tree. All right, we've got a dispute between ex-lovers. Is that fair? Yes. You're suing him for some $1,300 and you're saying it was his fault that these ornaments on the Christmas tree were destroyed. That is correct. So let's go back. There's always a backstory, you know? Mm -hmm. There's always a backstory. So how did you all meet? What, what, what was the relationship and why did you all end up on separate sides of my courtroom? Yes, Your Honor, I met Dalton in a bar in Atlanta. Uh, we were sitting in a rooftop and we kind of hit things off very beautifully in the beginning. Mm -hmm. We quickly exchanged numbers shortly after the pandemic hit and we were in lockdown. We spent a lot of time together. I even allowed him to come live with me. He brought his dog as well. Things were going great. We had conversations about marriage, starting a family, and he was on the same page. A couple months How later- How do you know he was on the same page? Because we talked about it, where we wanted to have our destination uh, wedding, the reception, oh. and all those beautiful things. Is that true? Yes, Your Honor, to oh. a certain extent. To a certain extent? To a certain extent. What extent was it not certain? Well, as far as, um, as the marriage, I would say, um, I did most definitely tell her that I wanted to be married, but her thing is she wants to be married immediately. And me, I'm coming from Miami, Florida, here into Atlanta, just trying to make a better life for myself. And I explained that to her. And um, So I'll... it was timing. Correct. It wasn't that you weren't committed. Correct. It's just that the timing for you is different. Just the timing. So now you all are thrown into a very close relationship by virtue of the COVID pandemic. Correct. So you're all in lockdown together. Correct. So you had a lot of time to get to know each Correct. other. Yes. Correct. And you were on board. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So then what happened? So after that, you know, I decided that I really wanted to focus on my career. My business took off, so I work at a marketing firm, and on the side, I create earrings out of clay. I made videos, and they kind of blew up on TikTok. And as are these the earrings that you made? Correct. These are earrings that I made. Yes. So as the uh, business decided to blow up, uh, so did my audience and my fans. So I had to I had to provide my attention to them as well. Um, Dalton was not a fan of that. He did not like that I was giving so much of my time to my business. He, as well, has other aspirations. He said he wanted to be a musician. A few months later, he said he wanted to do fashion. I support Dalton in all his decisions, but it seems like he wasn't sure about what he wanted to do with his career. I told him that I need stability. We were together for about three years, so in terms of timing, I do think that's more than enough time to decide whether or not you want to tie the knot with someone. What do you have to say about all this? Well, ma'am, I was born and raised that first you want to make sure that all your eggs and your ducks are in order. So there is no date when it comes down to marriage. Sometimes it may take three, four, maybe five, ten years. That's it. I just want to make sure that I can be able to support this woman whenever I can. Also, as So me, you want to be financially stable. That's correct. Which is reasonable. Thank and you. so she was saying that you wanted to be a musician and you wanted to get into That's fashion right. design. That's right. What were you planning to do? What were the plans? Well, the plans first was to get from Miami to Atlanta because I felt like it was going to be a better option for me okay. to uh, go to school. And also, they're pretty big on music as well, too. Yes, that's true. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, also, they have really, 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 really great taste in fashion. And I do love clothes. I do love designing. I do love style. I like looking good. Who doesn't like looking good? And my thing was, once I go to school, graduate, have more money, more income, most definitely I was going to come back and talk to her about like, hey, let's get married. So were you planning to go to school? Were you planning to go back to school? What was the plan? Plan to go back to school. Okay, all right, so then 
you were like, wait a minute, it's been three years. That's yeah. correct. Your Honor, I am a firm believer in the value of continuous learning. Dalton did not mention that he wanted to go back to school. Had that conversation That's had been had... That's a pretty important piece of conversation to have. I agree. Did you not have that conversation with her? Oh, I had that conversation with her. I think she was too busy in her phone for her to be able to, to hear me loud and clear. When Your I'm Honor, if I was in her. my phone, how would I know that he wanted to pursue music and fashion? Whew. Mercy. So then what happens? Tell me what happens. So, you know, we're living together at the time. My lease is coming to an end. I decided that I wanted to take things to the next level for myself. I decided to put down money towards a home in Atlanta. Oh, wonderful. And thank you. And I was going to move into this home and really just focus on my marketing, focus on my brand, and see how I can give back to the community. Coming up on The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. So the lease is coming to an end. Correct. You put down a deposit. Correct. So did you have that conversation with him? Did you say, hey, Dalton, let me tell you, we're not getting married. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Renee George, who is suing Dalton Rapp for property damage. Was Dalton, were you planning for Dalton to move into the new home? There's no ring on my finger, therefore I did not extend an invitation for him to move into my home. Okay, so the lease is coming to an end. Correct. You put down a deposit, um, earnest money on buying a new home. Correct. So did you have that conversation with him? Did you say, hey Dalton, let me tell you, we're not getting married. I'm on my way to do a different thing. Yes, we had that conversation, and again, he stated that it's not the right time. He wants to work some things out, get all his ducks in a row. My parents, they didn't have all their ducks in a row, but they made things work. I told him that it takes two to tango. I don't want to dance alone. So at this point, if I'm going to dance alone, I'm going to do it in my beautiful home, and I did. Okay, all Your right. Honor. Your so, Honor. Dalton, how did you react to all of this? Your Honor, as far as her parents making it work, her mother... If the, her mother nit fix at everything. So if you mean to tell me that if that's what makes it work, then I, want, I don't want no part of it. Mm -hmm. My thing is I just want to make sure that this, we are on the same page because every single time I come home and I talk to this woman about my day, she doesn't listen to me. She's always more concerned about what's, mm -hmm. how many views she's having in her phone, who's mm -hmm. saying what, how can she build her brand, instead of just saying, hey, you know what, let me put my phone aside, let me put my business aside, just for maybe 15 minutes out of the day and hear what it is that I have to say to be able to be That's here for my man. That's a good point now. All right, so you're feeling like you're shut out, she's more interested in her job, so why don't you all just say, okay, well, we'll just go our separate ways. Because I really love this woman, Your Honor. You do? I do. Do you still, you still love her? I do. So let me ask you, Renee, did you not respect the fact that he wanted to be financially stable, to be able to be in a solid marriage with you? Absolutely, I respect the fact that he okay. wanted to be financially stable and I was willing to support him. However, he was not sure of what he wanted to do. Oh, I see. His path mm -hmm. was just too confusing for me and time is ticking, like I really need stability. So I thought it would be best for us to grow separately than mm. as a, a, a couple. So. When you all were not living together, were you still seeing each other? Or you just, did you make a, just a split? I'm finished. Yes, so once my lease ended, I moved out and right. you know, I moved into my home. He moved in with his friends. Um, we would talk you know, from time to time, but again, his schedule is busy because he does security in the evening time and I spend a lot of time working on my brand, so we didn't have much time to really see each other, but the communication was still there. Was it more than communication? Yes, ma'am. It was more than communication. How do, you, um, how do you feel about him today, right now? I still love him, and I want the best for him. I want him to have the confidence to go for his heart desires. I think he has beautiful dreams and aspirations. He just has to make the first step. And I don't want to feel like a mother that I'm constantly telling him what to do. I get it. I get it. All right. We really are here about some Christmas ornaments. You know, a lot of things I can fix, Harvey. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of things, you know, uh, I have a lot of power as a judge, but sometimes these matters of the heart, you just... Those are tough. Those are tough. Yeah. Those, you, can't, you can't necessarily fix them. So let's get to the day of the incident that you're suing him for the $1,300. Sir, if you would stand and introduce yourself for the record, please. Hey, Judge. Um, uh, Patrick, 
And what is your relationship to the plaintiff? I'm, I'm her brother. All right, and my understanding is that you were there when the incident happened and the reason your sister is bringing the defendant into court. Is that yes, correct? Yes, ma'am. Um, All right, was... I'll get to you in just a second because I want to make sure that you are an eyewitness. Hold on just a second. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to turn to you, Renee. What happened? Yes. So I decided to throw a Christmas party, invite my friends and family over to celebrate with me in my in brand your new, new house. house. Correct. I also invited Dalton. And, you know, as the day went on, as the evening went on, things weren't going according to plan. How my, so? My brother and his girlfriend were in a car accident. Oh, my god. They goodness. had to wait a couple hours for the police to come. So their attendance was delayed. My mom was there as well, also giving in her two cents. <laughs> Um, but in addition yes, to that... Mothers have a way of doing that sometimes. Yes, the, that. yes she does. Mm. Um, I worked so hard. I put up a Christmas tree, decorations. I prepped the food. Um, and I was just wanted to celebrate with my friends and family. Dalton shows up to the party uh, a little bit about three hours into the party. I'm sitting down in the living room with my friends taking pictures. And I wanted to upload my last post before I go on a hiatus for the holidays. He charges at me, he grabs my phone, and I wasn't sure if he was going to break the phone, damage the content that I was creating, or harm me. So I'm trying to reach for him. As you can see, he's much taller than me. When I grab my phone, he steps back and knocks down the Christmas tree. He breaks the ornaments, and they're not just decorations, they're family heirlooms. I got it from my mom, who got it from her mom. They're things that I can't get back. Okay, I, I can't replace those. Was there a communications about the phone. There was communication Tell me about, about the phone. it. All, well, ma'am, as I came over to her home to celebrate with her, I also wanted to come and talk to her about our future. Let us have a five minute talk about it, maybe At 10 minutes. At the party. Minutes. Doctor, your timing is not okay. Well, she doesn't listen to me, period, because she's always in her phone and always focusing, like I said, on her, on her career more than okay, me. Okay, so, so you were trying right to get her attention. Coming up. You say it was more important that you finish the post than you respond to him. I did not, Your Honor. He showed up late to the party, charging at me, grabbing my phone in front of friends and family. It was really embarrassing. I did not charge at you. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Renee George, who is suing Dalton Rapp for property damage. She was on her phone. Yes, ma'am. She said she was trying to put up last minute posts before she went on hiatus. Yes, ma'am. So tell me exactly what happened. As she was making her post and, put in, and, and, and posting everything that was happening, I came and I asked her, I said, Renee, can I have your attention? It's been a long day. I need to talk to you. She says, one second. And I'm, I'm asking her, like, no, this is, this is going to be short. I'm telling her it's going to be short. And she says, no, this is more important. So, did you say it was more important that you finish the post than respond to him? I did not, Your Honor. What did you say? I said, one moment, Dalton. He showed up late to the party, and his demeanor in which he came in, charging at me, grabbing my phone in front of friends and family, was really embarrassing. I did not charge at you. Renee. Did you grab her phone? Yes, I did. Why did you grab her phone? Because I was asking for her attention. She never gave it to me. So once I grabbed her phone, now she's giving me her full attention. And she's yelling at me. I would give you my full attention, too, if you <laughs> grabbed my phone. I would not be happy. My emotions were high. All it is, I just want to talk to the woman that I love and just try to fix the situation that we're in. Yeah. So as, I'm, as I finally get her attention, she says to me, give me my phone. And I said, just let me talk to you. And she says, no, give me my phone. I have to make my post. As I'm backing up, because I had the phone up here, um, she comes and she's that agitated. She pushes me because I wouldn't give her her phone back. As she pushes me, I fell into the Christmas tree, breaking the ornaments. And it was just a major scene. I was embarrassed. And for myself, I was embarrassed for her as well. But I also had to think, did she do this for clout? Because she's so... She do it for what? Clout. She do it for her Instagram, social media, um, gain more fans. Um, yeah, but I mean, she's not taping this. That's, I just, I just felt that way. Oh that my I'm goodness. thinking like, wow, because the phone was still rolling as, as... Oh, I see what you're saying. Coming up. Patrick, you were there. What so, happened? Let's be real here. She had more followers well before this man showed up. She's been doing her brand. She didn't need that moment for no clout. I'm gonna be honest, Your Honor, she did push him into the tree. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Renee George, who is suing Dalton Rapp for property damage. Patrick, you were there. 
What for, happened? For clout, let's let's be real here. She had more followers well before this man showed up. She's been doing her brand. She didn't need that moment for no clout. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, Your Honor. Please. It's, it was a it was a hectic Christmas. Again, me and my girlfriend, we got into a car accident. Um, we were a little late. We had a wheel on a tow truck and a police officer to give a report. And then this man here, the first thing he does is he approaches my my sister. I don't understand. Like like didn't say hey nobody nothing. Just ran up to her. Hey Renee, we we got to have a conversation. And again, it, it did he happened. Did grab her phone? Yes, he did. He yeah. did grab her phone. And what did she do? I'm going to be honest, Your Honor, she did push him into the tree. All right. You know what? I appreciate you being honest. I really do, because this is your sister. You could have concocted some lie, but you took the oath to tell the truth, and I... That's great. That's, well, that's what you're I'm supposed also to do. Be, but I'm going to also be honest. I, I just don't think this man is right for it. Every, everybody knows what happens when you go, when it's Christmas time. As soon as your family show up, everybody want to know, hey, man, when you going to pop the question? Married. When you going to get, gonna get married? married. Yeah. Listen, I, I don't know that you all can get back together. I don't know that you all can get back together. I believe that you still love her. Absolutely. I do believe that you still have feelings for him. But I think you're all at different places in your life. Obviously, I'm going to rule on the money. But also, I want you all to leave here with some sense of what's next in your life, you know? And this may not be your time. You know, there are people who come in and out of your life, some for a season, you know, some for a lifetime. And I hope what we do is that we learn from those relationships. Judge Hatchett's verdict when we return. You're watching The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. I respect the fact that you're a businesswoman. I respect the fact that you've decided to have your own home in addition to working full time, building your brand and building your business. I respect that. But ultimately, it's not your brother's decision. It's your decision as to who is right for you. In this situation, I'm not going to award you the $1,300 because he shouldn't have taken the phone. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have snatched the phone from you. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have done that. But in your, what really in that moment was anger, you shoved him. Now, if I thought that he came in acting the fool or he was drunk and came in and start wailing around and knocked the tree over, he would pay every penny of this $1,300. But under these circumstances, I am going to dismiss your case. But more importantly, I hope that you all can at least have a civil relationship I think that it's time for you to concentrate on you, your education, and building for Dalton. Because she's moved on. Whether you are willing to accept that or not, she has moved on. There's nothing further. I wish you well, and we will stand adjourned. All rise. Judge Hatchett has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. I really hope that you do gain the confidence to pursue your dreams. I want you with me, and I really hope that you give me another opportunity so I can prove it to you and your brother and your mother that I'm the man for you. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.